and here we go guys thanks for tuning in to my latest racing video please drop us a like and subscribe and all that good stuff really helps the channel get this content out there a small rc channel like this needs all the help it can get so we always appreciate anyone who tunes into this channel and here we go today we are racing at southport radio control car club easter club day fun day this is qualifying round one running my schumacher cougar ld2 supplied by model sport the best model shop in the uk to get all your rc gear as far as i'm concerned i always get my stuff from there next day delivery if you order before 12 p.m on under on orders over 100 pound awesome guys and awesome service so let's see who we're racing against so we've got andrew on pole stuart second colin third howard fourth daniel fifth jamie sixth me seventh daryl in eighth Tommy in ninth and Paul Smith in 10th. Very fast drivers in this round. Probably a, a couple of levels higher than me on the Isle skill level. But it's all about trying to get some good lap times in. Hopefully we can place in a good final in one of the bottom finals. Raced against Tommy before. Tommy Tansley has a bit of a blinder. And some of these races get some really good results. So yeah, let's jump straight into the race. And here we go guys, the best, the main thing that's going to hold me back in this round is just overall speed and carrying speed through some of them corners. Like I say, up against some very fast drivers, One, I'm car number 7. Two, in a new position three, on the um, rostrum, four, not used to standing down five, at this end, I'm usually at the top six, end, so it's going to take me a couple seven, of laps eight, to find me mojo. Nine, so we're down, we're going to the first ten, corner. Oh, I'll get it wrong on the... Um, Apex there, got the track a little bit, but no, no real advantage. We're only racing against the clock. This tabletop very tricky. We managed to get across, so still getting used to running two classes, running the four-wheel drive Schumacher Cat L1R and the Schumacher Cougar LDT. So, lap one is a 32.79 over the cobbles car's looking good though looks nice and smooth out there made some favor adjustments to the car after this heat turned my drive frequency down um a little bit on the esc just to control that power delivery a little bit running a hobby wing 7.5 motor yellow cut staggers on the front and yellow mezzos on the rear always a lot of grip at southport lap 2 is a 31 16 through this back section and we go see if we can do the tabletop always a bit of a gamble oh, oh luckily we land on our wheels marshall gets out the way Lap 3 is a 29.62 Take a couple of laps to get up to speed Sorry about the wind It's always great racing at Southport in Victoria the Park order at 2 minutes is 8, 3, 5, 6 Four, two, ten, nine, one, seven. So we're currently running 10th, lap 4 is the 26, 86, fastest lap so far. The leader was getting fastest laps of 22, 86, so at the moment we're 4 seconds off the pace of the fastest guys, so it just goes to show just how quick some of these guys are. Lap 5 is a 26.16 Struggling with the two wheel drive at the moment Seems to be um, putting all my skills into laying in the four wheel drive That's kind of like where I'm at at the moment Hopefully a bit of driving with the four wheel drive will it'll improve my um, two wheel drive Driving skills over time Round we go This could be a fit, fast one Lap 6 is a 25.35 so we're now about three seconds off the fastest guys so we're bringing it down oh that was unfortunate need to definitely work on the setup of this car a little bit i'm not sure if i've quite got it right it's kind of built to a kit spec 
Yeah, the back end seems to be a bit bouncy. Get take a bit of a battering. There, round we go. Lap seven is a slow one, thirty-seven twenty-seven. Just getting the miles in. Sit tabletop is do or die. Order at four minutes is three, eight, five, six, four, nine, two, ten, one, seven. Yeah, so still at the back of the pack. But you you know, you don't want to be in races where you dominate all the time because you're never gonna learn anything. So um, although this is quite painful. Hopefully it'll all uh, turn around in the final and that's exactly what happens. So lap 9 is my fastest lap so far which is a 24.81. So we're now only 2 seconds off the leader's fastest lap. So it's all about progression, getting them numbers down, improving them per percentages. That's Tommy Tansley there with the blue and silver car. Very deep on that corner. Skid out, get the back end out. Make it over to get another lap in. Lap 10 is a 3102. Oh, that, that bump Five, just on that corner. Four, two, six, <laughs> three. Over One, the tabletop, nice nine. and smooth. Ten, and we go get this last lap done, which is a 5152. Race over. The finishing order. Yeah, so Colin won it with 13 laps and the fastest lap of 22.86. Daryl was second with 13 laps and the fastest lap of 23.71. Howard was third with 12 laps and the fastest lap of 24.15. Daniel was 4th with 12 laps and the fastest lap of 23.96 Jamie was 5th with 12 laps and the fastest lap of 23.18 Tommy was 6th with 12 laps and the fastest lap of 24.44 Stuart was 7th with 12 laps and the fastest lap of 23.79 Paul Smith was 8th with 12 laps and the fastest lap of 23.55 Andrew was 9th with 11 laps and the fastest lap of 25.74 and I was 10th with 11 laps and a fastest lap of 24.81. So my fastest lap was faster than Andrew's, but Andrew's obviously more consistent. On to the lap times. First two laps were slow. Lap three was slow. Lap four, we started getting a bit on the pace. Lap five, we were keeping that consistent 26 seconds. Lap six, we brought it down a little bit. Lap seven was awful. Lap 8 wasn't too great. We got it together for lap 9 to get our fastest lap over 24.81. Lap 10 and 11 were also pretty awful. It's a, a bit of a disadvantage because when you're um, starting at the back of the pack and you're actually one of the slower cars, you're spending most of your time getting out the way of everyone else. So, yeah. Not, a, not, not the worst race I've ever had. But we'll um, hopefully do okay in the final. As always guys, thanks very much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Oh yeah.